it's a bittersweet situation that was announced on uh, last week. Austin Brown moving on from, from Home Free. We've really bonded with him, you know, as, as a Home Fry, as Home Fries since he joined, well, from the sing off and some of, some of the things that I've learned musically and things that voices can do, things that people can do. Austin Brown is someone that really, you know, shows the range of what a cappella can be and what an artist can be and what you can love and how you can just create with such freedom and such commitment. And Austin Brown really reminds me of that. There are so many key notes that will always be my favorite notes that Home Free does that a lot of that is derived from what Austin Brown generated. It's still a shock for me. Some of my favorite songs is just listening to Austin Brown do The Warmest Winter and the way he just takes the lead. I will always miss that, you know. Uh, I know Home Free is flooded with so many potential tenors to, to, to replace Austin Brown. Austin Brown can never be replaced though, um, with his gimmicks, his, his personality and everything. We will miss Austin Brown. I will miss Austin Brown in Home Free. I know he's still an artist, right? But I will miss him in Home Free. And this is just a video uh, I'm going to do just expressing my respect and love for Home Free, Austin Brown. Um, thank you for the impact that you've had. It's, it's amazing, you know? Um, I love it. I, I, I love the journey that we're going to miss. Home free Austin Brown and whatever his endeavor is, um, we wish him the best. Well, y'all, here we are. Here we are. It's a brand new day. Um, it's a day that, you know, a younger me would have never expected um, to see or find, but we grow, we change, we find um, where, you know, where the universe, where God wants us to be and where we're meant to be. And for me, that is home, building a family, with this beautiful woman. So yes, I am leaving home free. Um, there are so many comments, so many questions. We're gonna do our best to address all of those. Um, we're gonna be going live <clears throat> in just a couple days. Check out all of our socials for that. So we can really dig into this a bit more. Yeah, and answer all the questions that you guys I'm sure have. Absolutely. But we also wanted to come here and just kinda let you hear it from him. Yeah, Slash straight us, from us. Because I'm here for moral support. I want to say first off that um, everything is wonderful. Everything is is the best it's ever been um, or, or in my life, and I'm so grateful. My heart is so full. I'm so fulfilled on a daily basis. Um, I've learned so much about myself over the last three, four, or five years, uh, and. And, and I have discovered something that I never thought I would want, which is to be home. I never, I never knew mm. what home was as a grown man, you know? We traveled so much and so often. And, uh, and then we got a preview, a little peek of home life during COVID. Um, and it, uh, it showed me so much. Mm -hmm. And getting back on the road was so much fun. And I'll always love shows. Um, I'll always be in Home Free, in my heart, you know. Home Free and I are not done working together. Um, I'm not done with acapella. Uh, Good. All of that stuff is, is <clears throat> such a part of who I am. The band, my brothers. I love these guys so much. Yeah. And what's amazing is that they love me too. And we want what's best for all of us. And they know that this is what's best for me. And having their support through this process is something that gives my heart wings. You know, it, it makes me feel like it's what I'm supposed to be doing uh, internally within the Home Free Band and the entire organization. All I've received um, about uh, this whole grow, growing moment has been positive support and love. Um, I am, and I'm so grateful for that because we've been talking about this for a long time. This is not something that happened all at once. You know, I didn't wake up last week. Yeah, go, yeah there's no decision. Uh, I want to leave home free. Yeah, so there's, there's, no, works, there's no there's no decision know? that you this can make just that like we, that. I've been yeah. Working through in my heart. Yeah. With my therapist, with my you yeah. know, spiritual and and uh, intellectual advisors um, for a long time going, oh, what you know, what am I actually searching for? What is it that I want? And I guess. Brrrah, Right? What is the biggest reason 
for this moment. I want to have a family, and I want to be home. Why not? With my family, and and not have to change my life around when that moment comes. You know, good Lord willing, right? Knock on wood. You know. You looked in the that, book. Uh, that we get to choose. <laughs> well, a book is a wood. Um, I want to be home, and I want to figure out how to have a livelihood hmm. just being at home. And that's not in the home free, you know, realm of, of, of how it operates at this yeah. point. It's been an incredible run for me. The band is still going to keep going, still going to keep touring. I'm really excited about the process of trying to find somebody, you know, that can replace me. Yeah, and it's not a replacement. It's a new thing, right? They're not going to try and do what I did. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Yeah, like, that, that, yeah that's, they that's don't. That's not how this works. You don't, yeah. We're gonna, it's, Home Free is changing and growing. Yeah. And, you know, if you know anything about me, you know one of my favorite things in the world is change. Yeah. I love it. I thrive on it. I do <clears> not. <throat> I am not, but I will say too, I think I had, I would be lying if I said that I wasn't shocked and concerned and a little scared when you first kind of started talking about this with me. And I mean, I would agree. I felt the same way. Yeah, you know, it's, it it's was, like, am I really feeling this way? There was a lot of conversations and, but I do vividly remember the moment that I went, I get it. I really, okay, I get it. And it was when you became just so, I mean, just deeply emotional talking about how excited you were to have a Christmas because it's been more than a decade that you know you guys do christmas tours every year and, and they're awesome the yeah. crowds are amazing it's well, so yeah. much fun but yes. your so christmas much life and season love to is running in on christmas eve and sometimes running out the day after christmas and then continuing to tour through sure but seeing how emotional you got talking about being able to put up lights and decorate the tree and go drive around and see all the lights God, I just want to like things that they do here in Nashville. I want to be home at Christmas. I could, I could almost was, cry thinking about it. But yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep it together for you guys. That was the moment that I was like, okay, I get it. This makes sense. And regardless of how we felt when we first started talking about it, I told you from then, and I truly and genuinely mean it, I will follow you to the ends of the earth. Whatever you want to do, <laughs> I'm here for you. I love you, and this is where we are now. And one thing I would like to address, and again, we're gonna. There's so much more to this, and to, mm -hmm. our, to what our plans are, yeah. and to all the all that stuff is coming. But right now, it's just about you know connecting with you, the viewer who's here with us now and is interested in this moment. Like, thank you for joining us on this journey, um, because we don't know where we're going. We have a lot of plans, but I'm just gonna let the universe continue to to guide me exactly where we are meant to be um, but this is my decision you know there have been there's been a little bit of, of kickback <clears throat> a little bit and it's to be totally understood you know we've we've been such a fixture for so many people for the last 10 years and so for me to be leaving that moment it's it's sad it is in so many ways it's yeah. also incredibly hopeful and exciting but yeah. it is people sad. don't like change honor that um and i want you to know this was this is my choice you know this isn't uh Something. This was never her idea. A. B. I need you guys to respect her and stand up for her. Okay. I because wouldn't think. So many people. This is one of the few things that I would. I, I. I. didn't suspect. I didn't suspect that it would. It would be a situation where, like, I wouldn't imagine her being the reason why he would decide to stay home, or her being the reason why he would decide to leave home free. Um. That's the last thing I would think because some being in a group like home free really takes a toll on you in a whole different level you know it's it's not something that someone can just willfully just be like oh no someone told me to leave and therefore i'm leaving like it's not something that can be done i think it's ridiculous that people would i don't know i i haven't seen this is the first time i'm watching the video and i haven't even fully read the post by home free so i haven't seen the reaction of people yet and for anyone that is reacting in that way like oh no it's because of her or even if it was because of her and so what? <laughs> people 
and it's and it's maybe you know five percent of you know the thousands of people you know commenting and joining the conversation here but um amberly's not yoko and i'm not john lennon um and uh, i'm also not done with home free it's just a new moment it's a new incarnation we have plans there will be more music down the line i will still perform with home free upon occasion it will be moment, it will be home free and austin brown i think I'm just just like voice play and Jaynon, right that that's i think that's how it's going to be like learn how to be home you're fine it's a big it's a big time for all of us i've cried a lot about this um we talked about this with our super fans first last it, night it I is painful me not be able to keep it together near as much because it's uh it's it's you know change is hard it's also good you know, but it is hard, and I'm just here to share with you guys. I want to talk so much more about this, but I'm not going to ramble on because if you know anything about the two of us, we will talk. For we hours. can ramble on. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, but again, why not, man? We've decided that on Sunday, February 18th, at 6:30 p.m. Central Time, we're going to go live. We're going to try on all the platforms. We're going to do our can. best to go on all the platforms. We might even get a buddy to come by and moderate the comments on all yeah. three of them for us, three or four of them. Yeah. I'm not sure how it works, but I, we, I, we've, I've gone live, live on a few. We just, you got to have multiple devices, and it's kind of ridiculous. But yeah. like, Okay, all right, I'm, I'll end it here. Um, I'm doing this during the live stream, so I have to mind the time. Um, but yeah, anyway, much love and respect to Amber um, and Austin Brown. Um yeah it's certainly it's certainly going to be very interesting um home free is going to go through um a stage of reinvention um but i really don't think they're going to struggle finding a tenor or someone as fit to to replace again it's not going to be a replacement for austin brown it's going to be a tenor you know to replace austin brown as a tenor not to replace austin brown as austin brown so um, I don't think that's going to be difficult for Humphrey at all <laughs> because they are flooded with talent all around them. So it's very easy. Uh, and they are in a good business. So the, the acapella business is really good. They are well-known, they are well-respected. So it's not going to be difficult for them to to um, to do that. And they are calling her Yoko. Why? Because of the whole Beatles thing. That's just stupid, man. I mean, I mean, I, I would just imagine that people would, would just hate on on amber like <laughs> for no reason like because oh no you know like you know like when idol when when fans of idols um discover that the idol is is or uh, has a girlfriend or is getting married and then they immediately turn on the girl or or, or, or the or, or the or the boyfriend or whatever you know and then they, they just start hating on them simply because in their head they are married to austin brown or they <laughs> their boyfriend is austin brown you know like so people just hate on her for no reason because, oh, no, you know, you took my boyfriend away from me. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I love that he said she's no Yoko. Well, I mean, it's ridiculous to think that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, even if Austin Brown um, was to go out and do things on his own, he was already doing it prior. You know, he was already doing it prior to to um, to that. And and. Like he said, he's still going to be performing with Humphrey, which is still good. Um, however, it still doesn't take the fact that he's he has left Humphrey. He no longer is a Humphrey member. And to that, I will say we will indeed miss Austin Brown. And of Humphrey, Austin Brown, you know, we, we will definitely miss it. The same way we miss Jay Nunn when he left voice play. The same way, like, we will, we will miss Austin Brown. Um, but I have been longer. I've loved Humphrey longer, definitely, than voice play. And I have had a whole lot of respect um, and admiration for him. So that's why I'm doing this video. Yeah. So, yeah. Much love and respect to both of them. I'm wishing them the best. Staying home is certainly a very difficult decision, especially for someone to make in this economy as well. Um, so, like you said, it wasn't just a decision that's like, ah, yeah, it's not. It's, you know, and it's funny when people is like, why are you leaving? It's like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm leaving because I want to. Yeah, kind of thing. You're like you almost want to say that, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, because I want to. <laughs> like, like people just don't make that decision lightly, you know. It takes it takes a long time to do this. It's it's a painful process, you know. Um yeah. Yeah. Avi Avi still gets hate after six years of leaving uh Pentatonics. Yeah. I don't Avi still gets Avi gets hate. 
Because I thought Matt would, I guess both of them, because Matt would get hate, Avi would get hate too. It's just weird how people, this is all a response to how people don't like change. That's all it is. People just don't like change. People like things to be the way things are until they die and then they can change. As long as I'm alive, don't change. You can change until like, you know, when I'm dead, when I'm dead, which is like, wow. Hello, welcome to the world. <laughs> the universe is ever changing, you know, so you need to change with it. You need to foresee it, accommodate it, and you'll never be disappointed. But this was definitely a shocker. Um, it's sad and um christmas in la um will never be the same definitely in my head without austin brown christmas in la will always be an austin brown thing for me it's one of my favorite home free christmas songs non-christmas christmas songs the warmest winter is one of my favorite ballads by by uh home free with austin brown and there's, I can go through so many songs that Austin Brown just shines purely through and it's just amazing. But anyway, much love to him, much respect to him. Much love to the Home Fries. We have been together since 2020 and we're here. And I'm still going to be riding with Home Fry. You know, Home Free, you know, it's Home Free, you know. <laughs> like, doesn't change. So shout out to you guys.